Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 TriStar Signature Series Entertainment. Random hit number one. TriStar Signature Series Entertainment, I guess, is what it is. Entertainment, Signature Series Entertainment Live? Oh yeah, Entertainment Live. There you go, so that's what you can expect out of there. Are these TriStar going to be fire or not? They're going to be fire. They're only made 50 of these. So my guess is that they're going to be good. All right, so thanks to John, Aaron, and Mark. Thanks to the three of you for getting this knocked out. Appreciate it. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spots. Now remember, as you saw in the item description, this box was, was open. It is technically box 8 out of 50, it'll say right here, case. But the seven envelopes are still here. So I'm going to pull them out one at a time. You can kind of see it on this face camera right here. We'll pull it out one at a time. So this will be item number one. So I'm going to switch screens right here and write item one right there. Item two, slightly larger than item one. I think there can be redemption. Some of these can be redemptions too for larger items. That's number three. That's a three. Four. Five. Six. So these are all the same size. This is slightly bigger than these ones. This is six. And the largest size appears to be on the bottom right here. Seven. space for this here. So there's seven right there. Let's put this right over here. You can see on the top camera right above my head. All right. Now let's roll it and randomize it, assign you a number, and we'll pop these open. Let's see what's inside. Six and a three, nine times for each list. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, we've got Aaron, Aaron, John, Aaron, Mark, Aaron, Aaron. That's trendsetter in the chat, Aaron Salinas. It's trendsetter. Johnny O is just John Oakery in the chat, and Mark Matson is, I think, Mark Matson in the chat. All right, so there you go. So six and a three, nine times for the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Good luck. Box or envelope three down to two. Pack, envelope, whatever you want to call it. All right, so Aaron with three, seven, six, five, and two. Johnny O, you have four. Mark, you have one. So we traditionally do these in alphabetical order, right? But we're actually going to do John's and Mark's first, and then we'll do the rest for Aaron, if that's all right, Aaron. That's my executive decision. All right, so John with number four. Here it is. Four for Johnny O. Let's, let's move one out of the way here as well. All 
right, we got the Beckett right there. Do they have an informational card here? They do, I think. It's a big photo. So we got the Beckett card back here too. Who am I? I'm an American actress, a Golden Globe winner, Academy Award winner, Primetime Emmy Award winner, Screen Actors Guild Award winner. My films have earned over $6.8 billion worldwide, appeared in Forbes Celebrity 100 list in 2009, known for her roles in, this should give it away, The Princess Diaries, Rio, Bride Wars, and The Devil Wears Prada. I wonder what picture this is going to be for her. Any guesses? Mark, you're up next with uh, with envelope one. Curtis, you got it. It's Anne Hathaway. And it's Anne Hathaway. There she is. There you go, Anne Hathaway. Nice black and white shot right there. Anne Hathaway. Excellent. There you go, Johnny O. I know. I, I, I would think they would, they would list the Dark Knight Rises as well. But guess not. All right. Next one is for Mark Matheson. With the first one right here, number one. Good luck. All right, who am I? I was born August 24th, 1934. And I passed away August 13th, 2016. In an interview with YouTube, I initially turned down this role saying, I don't need to be stuck in a robot. He ended up portraying this robot from 1977 to 2005. Who am I? Curtis should get this one. Not Anthony Daniels, the other one. Yep, Theoden, Curtis, Stephen K, Kenny Baker. There you go. Day after uh, Kobe. Although Kobe was not born in 1934. All right. That's my best R2-D2 impression. There's Kenny Baker's autograph right there. All right, thanks, Stephen K. That was pretty good, pretty passable. Passable R2-D2 for on the spot. All right, so the rest of these are for Aaron Salinas. He's got 376524. 37652 and, no, not four. 37652. 37652, perfect. And I'm gonna you know, repurpose this box right here to put all of your hits inside. All right. So I guess we'll go from the 
I think these are all the same size. No, one's a little bit larger. We'll go the three. So these three are the same size. Then we'll go the medium size one and then the large size one. So here's two. This is technically your last spot mojo spot trendsetter. I got all the Beckett stuff right there. I think the name is right over here in the corner. Let's cover it up. All right, quick who am I? Two-time Academy Award winner, three-time Golden Globe Award winner, Emmy winner, and played the lead role of Crash Davis in the hit film Bull Durham. I hope this Bull Durham reference means that's him in his Bull Durham's gear. That's right, John Samuelson. Kevin Costner in Untouchables, which is also a great movie. <laughs> Love this movie. There's Kevin Costner's autograph. Untouchables poster. This is a great one. This is one of my favorites. Sean Connery's in it. So ends the lesson. Sean Connery. Sean's in it. With Kevin Costner. And this guy. I don't know this guy. And Andy Garcia. And Al Capone. Robert De Niro did a good job too. All right. There you go, Aaron. Oh, let me actually put that card back in here. This movie holds up over time as well. If you haven't seen uh, Tomb or Tombstone, Tombstone's good too. If you haven't seen Untouchables in a while, it's pretty good. Brian De Palma picture, I, I want to say. All right. No, I think that was pretty... That was better than my R2-D2, Sam Strayer. My Sean Connery accent is Bond, James Bond. It's spot on. It sounds exactly like him. I'll bet... I'll bet any, any voice activation technology that Sean Connery has at his house, it'd pass it. I'd pass it for sure. It'd be like, welcome, Sean. Sir Sean. Next envelope, number three. Do you see the beast? Fire and ready, Miss Money Penny. It's pretty spot. It's pretty good. All right. Yeah, it's John Samson was like, I wasn't watching. I thought Sean Connor was breaking it. Let's see. Spot on. I thought R2-D2 was here too, huh? All right, next one. American voice actor and actor best known for his portrayal as Pedro Serrano in the Major League Film Trilogy. Other notable roles are in Absolute Power, The Unit, and the TV show 24. Hats for bats. Keep bats warm. It is very bad to steal Joe Boo's rum. It is very bad. Got to watch that movie, too, with baseball season coming up. Anyone know the, the, the actor's name? Dennis Haysbert. There he is. Oh, in, in his major league gear. Nice. Are you, are you trying to say Jesus Christ can't hit a curveball? Dennis Haysbert. That's right, Logan. He was in one of my favorite movies. Not only Major League, but the movie Heat. He was the driver in Heat.
Yeah, not not a happy ending for him in the movie Heat. All right, envelope five. Then we got six and seven left for you, Aaron. Yeah, he was indeed a bit of a victim of circumstances in that movie. That's not a huge spoiler, Curtis. It's fine. That movie came out in the 90s. All right. English actor and director best known for his work in... Oh, you guys can get this right away. American Psycho, Batman Begins, Why? The Dark Knight, Pray to Me! The Dark Knight Rises, and The Fighter, which earned him an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Yeah, that one's easy. Christian Bale, as... As Batman! I'm Batman. And I'm Bane, who's kind of like Sean Connery, but crazier. That's Bane. That's the Bane voice. Just do sh your best Sean Connery. I was born in the dark. And just made him sign, sound crazier. A crazy Sean Connery is Bane. There you go. Nice. Nice one, though. You got the Beckett sticker on the corner right here, too. These are all certified, of course. PSA DNA or Beckett. That's Christian Bale. Brain, brain is breaking now. I will break you, Batman. All right. I don't have an Anne Hathaway voice, sorry. All right. There are six right here. I mean, Anne Hathaway just has a normal girl voice, right? So. All right. Next one for Aaron. Ooh, I think Sam Strayer, you're right. You, di you did call this. This is an album cover. Right here. Let's see here. Nice. Can anyone guess just by looking at the album cover for you music fans? The record's not in here, by the way. It's just this autographed album cover. Not Elton, not, not Tina Turner, not, not Sting, not Elton John. American singer, songwriter, and guitarist. He achieved his breakthrough in 1970 with the hit number three single, Fire and Rain. And some of his hit albums include Flag, Gorilla, Sweet Baby James, five-time Grammy Award winner, introduced, inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2000, one of the best-selling music artists of all time, selling more than 100 million records worldwide. I think his first album was on the Beatles record label on Apple, if I'm not mistaken. There you go. Johnny O, Brian O, John Samuelson got it. Yep, James Taylor. James Taylor. And this is his album, Gorilla. There's his autograph right there. What's he pointing to? Not sure what he's pointing to. What year was this? Oh, it's 1975. I don't know, what's, it, what's he doing here? The 70s were a weird time, ladies and gentlemen. He's got like a stash and all that hair too. That's seventies James Taylor right there, ladies and gentlemen. All right, actually, let me put this on the back here. All right, I don't know any James Taylor songs. More of a Nick Drake guy, anyway. All right. And the last one, Aaron. This is the this is the largest size one, number seven. 
That's kind of heavy, too. Johnny O. Yeah, not exactly what you're looking for. The Anne Hathaways, yeah, pretty cool. So there's some Anne Hathaway fan who would enjoy that. There's Anne Hathaway and Christian Bale in it. Um, in this case. All right, what do we have here? All right, our final, who am I? Oh, I'm, Amer I'm an American voice actor and singer, appeared at almost 400 roles, most famously including those of Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2 and the Tasmanian Devil. I used to have a good Tasmanian Devil impression. <laughs> And a two-time Annie Award winner for Best Voice Acting for Television. This guy's really cool. This guy's done so many more roles than just Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, and the Tasmanian Devil. Johnny O, you got it. Now I'm wondering what, what picture they're going to use for the autograph. And he's, he's, done, he's done a lot of stuff over, over the years. I think he did some Aladdin voices, Pinocchio. You can go back, a lot of TV stuff, DuckTales, a lot of Disney stuff. So, anyhow. It's, ooh! Let's get dangerous. Dark Wing Duck. Where's his autograph? He was the voice of Darkwing Duck. That's right. There's the autograph right there. Everyone remember the Darkwing Duck theme song? That's a pretty good one. Not, not, not as good as maybe Tailspin or Rescue Rangers, but it's pretty good. Kind of hard to, yeah, kind of hard to... Here, maybe actually I can lift the camera a little bit and get a better look at the autograph right up here, right underneath my chin. <laughs> there it is. Yo, is he from Louisiana? Nice. There you go. Yeah, he, he did uh, Tailspin. He was Don Carnage in Tailspin, if you remember that show. Um, he did a lot of the voices in Darkwing Duck. He was on Chippendale Rescue. He was Monterey Jack in the five-part pilot and in seasons two and three. He was Fat Cat and, and Rat Capone in Rescue Rangers. Man, it's pretty, pretty good. A lot of stuff. All right. Anyhow, there you go, Aaron. Congrats to you. Thanks very much, everyone, for getting in. We had a lot of fun with this one. We'll see you next time. This is Joe. I'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bang.